YouTube what's going on it's James with make an opening and today I'm going to do a video that I've never done before uh one I know back to back videos look at me go uh, I figured it'd be cool to do a video for May the 4th so let's do a little bit of a market watch slash cards that I recommend picking up now going into set two and the sets beyond and you know hopefully getting them now at a good price before they inevitably go up in price because I think they're good cards and that's that's my personal opinion um so we're just going to do like a general overview of the current market as it is right now and then i'll go over five of my cards to cop <laughs> cards to cop that's a pretty cool thing to call it i guess um but first things first look at the home page of tcg player boys we made it we made it hey hey shout out you guys hey shout, shout out you guys that's all i'm saying uh but yeah let's uh Go ahead and take a look see real quick this is going to be like mostly unedited um i just want to do like a pretty chill pretty like tame like hey let's look at stuff together right so let's just start by going high to low um and one thing i noticed um which i actually i want to look at first just because it's pretty cool that it's already here oh <laughs> so the um the store showdown cards are here uh take down the card you get just for showing up it's 37 dollars. so make sure to go to your store showdowns obviously this is gonna uh calm down at some point there's only six listings but like you know <laughs> show up to your store showdowns let's see i wonder if it's gonna be similar stores just like selling their stuff we got big joe's cardboard let's look at a top eight mace windu we don't have Big Joe's Cardboard. Okay, but Kazon cards looked familiar. Let's look at number one. The Champion card, $388, $385. Kazon cards. Kazon. I'm on to you guys. Naughty, 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 naughty. Yeah, nah, never send these guys cards again. They're just selling them. That's fucked up. But yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, I fuck with these, fuck with these heavy. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna get one of each. Um, our store showdown is actually May the 5th at seven o'clock. So I'm getting a takedown and then hopefully I can take home four Mace Windows, if not at least one, at least the hundred dollar one, right? Um, and you know, like I'm not even gonna try and sell these. This, it's my very first card game to ever go to a tournament for. So if I at least get top eight, this thing is going in a fucking hard case framing on my wall, like something crazy just to commemorate the event because that's pretty cool. But let's just get rid of the showcase cards for now. So showcases look about how they should. Um, oh, I want this card so bad, man. $345. Yeah, probably not. You know me, I'm a Thrawn, Thrawn enjoyer. Probably not doing that anytime soon though. $800 for Leia. Probably, I think this, in my opinion, this is the best looking showcase. Leia just looks so good. Love this showcase. $800, really? Man, that's insane. Oh yeah, showcases are doing showcase things. Uh, Vader currently sitting at 91.50. So he's gone up a little bit. The last couple days I saw him at like 84, 85. So. He's been fluctuating around that 85, 95 range. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boba Fett down to 50. Good thing I sold him at 65. Sucker. <laughs> uh, Luke, 47. Just like the main ones, of course. Um, takedown cert. Oh, okay. So the Judge promo takedown is going to have a sort of foil to it. Hmm. May have to cop. May have to cop. Uh, I do still want these, um, at least the Luke one, because I don't, I don't know, uh, both, honestly. Would I spend $100 for two liters that I don't even actually play right now? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Avenger back down to 35, Vigilance 33, Falcon 31. That's good that Vigilance is down to 33, because I actually need one more. Um, so hopefully people don't try to screw me out of my money. Uh, Red 3 Hyperspace. I actually sold one of these recently. Pretty cool card. Pretty cool card. Let's see what else we got. I'm just kind of looking through the top, top stuff with you guys. But it seems like the market is in a pretty stable spot over the last couple weeks. Nothing has changed like crazily at all. If anything, prices are coming down a smidgen. 
Um, but over the last couple of weeks, ever since the news came out that they weren't going to be having a reprint until around the holiday season, when the prices spiked, um, they've come down a little bit and have been chilling at a uh, at this level here, which is good to see. Um, so yeah, packs going for 14 bucks. Topped five packs for five bucks each um, yesterday, and uh, I got some good stuff. I got another K2. Um, I got a Jetta City. Boo. Um, I got my very first chopper, which is cool, and Ruck, actually. I didn't, I hadn't pulled either of those. I've been to like four or five drafts. I've opened two boxes. I've opened a pre-release kit. Just didn't have those two rares. So I got my first copy of both of those, and I got another Han Solo, I think. So uh, anyway, rambling. Market looks cool. Um, cards that I would recommend buying, though. Let's go ahead and get to the first one, baby. Rallying Cry. This card is currently eight cents. Actually, if we look at the first gold card or gold star, it's 10 cents mint. Um, it's simply just a three resource double red. Each friendly unit gains raid to this phase. I feel like as more cards start coming out and more aggro decks or just decks in general start doing uh, mono aggression uh, and then a bunch more like double red cards start getting printed out, this card is going to see a whole lot of value. Um, I don't have it in paper, but I've been playing an IG-88 mono aggression deck uh, that utilizes Rallying Cry pretty effectively as long as you have some units on the board. Uh, and then also, it's only eight cents, so check this out. The hyperspace is only a dollar, and look at this hyperspace. Can I, uh... whoa, zoom in a little bit. Look at that. That looks, that's such a cool hyperspace, man. Look, I think, did you, did you see these guys? Hold on. Um, how do you do? Well, yeah, look, you don't even see these guys right here because they're blocked by the border. And then boom, <laughs> they pop up. That's kind of funny. But yeah, a dollar for this hyperspace. It's it isn't uncommon, but maybe it goes up in price in the future. Uh, I think it looks really cool, and I think it's a good card. And look at that. It's actually gone down a little bit over the since the beginning of March. It's gone down by like a buck. So, pop it now. Next card. That didn't work. Boom, Cantina Bouncer. Currently, about 10 cents as well. Um, so it is a five resource, yellow, yellow. When played, you may return a non-leader unit to its owner's hand. This card is super good. It's currently seeing a lot of play in like mono yellow boba and just mid-rangey decks like that that want to generate a bunch of value and a bunch of tempo will become more and more commonplace over time as we see new sets, get new cards, uh, and then just double pip cards in general, I think are gonna always be valuable and go up in price as the card pool widens and gets bigger. So with 10 cents, obviously we have to look at the hyperspace version. There's not a whole bunch of difference going on here. Uh, as you can see, you see more of the, I just in general, they look so much better. And it's only $1.50 as well. So a play set is of $4.50, five bucks for a play set of hyperspace cantina bouncers. Get it while you can. Number three on my cards to cop. I'm just gonna start calling it that, that's pretty cool. Uh, Galactic Ambition. This is probably one of my favorite and also like most annoyed by most hated cards just cause like I want this card. I want to make it work. But the cards that you want to target with Galactic Ambition and the fact that as of right now, the health pool is so limited and there's not a whole lot of ways to stay extremely healthy, if not full health, by the time you play a Galactic Ambition. Um, it's just hard, right? I mean, I've tried playing this in like Iden and Krennic control decks, uh, and then, you know, Galactic Ambition out a Devastator. You take 10 damage, but you get, you get it out a lot faster and it can really seal a game, but it's just, it's just so hard. Um, this, I am definitely copying a playset of, uh, 12 bucks for a playset of this. Look how fucking beautiful this play this fucking hyperspace is right like oh my god this is oh i'm zoomed in way too far here we go that that is so nice way better than um the non hyperspace one 
And not even like way better, I'll be honest. But you just see more of space. I just like the colors of it. Hyperfoil too might not even be that bad. I think hyperfoil would be like, actually, what's the price of a hyperfoil? Let's see. 15 bucks. So 45 for a play set of hyperfoils. May have to may have to let that rock. Oh, low key. Whoa, I keep zooming in a lot. But yeah. This card can only get better, right? Because what if we get bases with more HP? What if we get better cards to cheat out? What if we get cards that when we cheat them out, they also heal us at the same time? You know, like using Galactic Ambition to cheat out a redemption. Although it's not really cheating much out because it's only one turn earlier, but cards like Redemption can heal the base. You know, like if we got something like that for like villainy control decks, um, I already think like if you're doing a control mirror, Galactic Ambition is super good. Uh, and like a sneaky sideboard card, especially if you are doing um, like the blue green control, like uh, Iden Green or Granite Green. Uh, mainly because you can cheat out on turn seven and maybe even a little bit earlier if depending on how much you've ramped you can galactic ambition out a devastator super super early i think it could be a good idea but i haven't really personally tested it much that's too much spice for my blood so let's go ahead and get into the fourth card to cock don't get cocky this card i really like this card it's super cool let's go ahead and look at the hyperspace not much difference, but if you're getting a card, you might as well get the hyperspace version while they're cheap, right? So you get to choose a unit. So an enemy unit typically is what you want to pick. I don't think there's ever an instance where you pick a friendly unit, but one at a time you reveal cards from your deck until you choose to stop or have revealed seven cards. If the combined cost of the revealed cards is seven or less, you deal that much damage to the chosen unit. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your deck in a random order. Basically, you gamble, right? Because you're playing blackjack. It's basically playing blackjack with a card because if the combined cost of the revealed cards is higher than seven, you're not dealing any damage, right? So I feel like this card is going to get better when you have a lot more uh, top of your deck manipulation style effects that you can actually utilize and take advantage of. Obviously, there is still a pretty good bit in the game right now. There's R2-D2, C-3PO, um, you know, cards like that that really help, especially in like heroes specifically. Um, and then, I mean, you still, even with those cards, you don't run this card hardly ever. You probably ever rarely do your My Only Help even, uh, but you can. It's an option that's there. But I think this card is going to get even better. Um, I've played with it before in draft and literally lost by one. If it was one cheaper, I would have blown up the card I needed to blow up to win the actual game, like in a draft game. It was pretty fun. I haven't ran it in a main deck yet. I'm not that brave, but uh, final card to cop. No further ado, search your feelings. I love this card. The hyperspace is amazing. Love the colors of it. $15 playset. Uh, hyperfoil is a little different. I personally own a hyperfoil. That out me, 15 bucks. But yeah, search your deck for a card to draw it. Obviously, tutor cards like this are just gonna get better if you have more cards to look for more specific cards you need like if they're cards that are just straight up win conditions that you need to search for search your feelings is going to become more and more and more important uh, for me it's a staple in my thrawn deck it's probably a staple in at least every side deck of control decks i don't know how many other control decks are main decking them but i feel like search your feelings is too good not to main deck in my personal opinion especially because i'm digging for so many specific answers into specific matchups uh, mainly aggro because i have a hard time with aggro as you would as a control deck. Uh, but yeah, these are my five cards to cop. James's five cards to cop, as well as a general overview of the market. Let me know what you think of the cards. And if you have any hyperfoil galactic ambitions you want to donate, <laughs> send them my way. This has been James Make Opening. May the fourth be with you. Peace out.